Okay, so 1993 Ferguson unit, man, uh, it was a riot. Right. Ride on the unit. Ride on close and, custody. And, and, and they ran out of tear gas. Right. Tell yeah. me what happened. Uh, it's like like how it started. This won't say how we how it started. How it started was some uh young little black dude that was stealing, went in this Mexican house and stole the shit. So you know, it sometimes when you get a a, a wing a thief on a wing, it take a little while to catch him. You know, because you don't know. So when everybody walk out this baby go to chow, you hear me? Yeah. They done slid up in your house. Bent your locker back. Bent your locker back. I used to do it. I ain't going to lie. I'm sitting there saying like they, 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 they was the only one. I used to do it too. But yeah. see, I didn't steal. I took. Because I want you in there when I get up in there. I want you in there when I get up in there. But this, we had some, about two Thieves that came from N Wayne, they got from ran from N Wayne to M Wayne. So when they get to M Wayne, they, you know, he done hit him by three or four licks before they catch on to what's happening. Right. But this Mexican had a motherfucking bad ass guest watch. Bad motherfucker. And it was a it was a gold guest watch and it hoe was bad. And the nigga stole the watch. Now they done sold the watch to these niggas down here on like we call it trusty word because we're on G it would be G5 if it was nowadays but back then it was called close custody we right. was on close custody so on close custody you know close custody ran like everything else back then we go to every meal ain't no restrictions the only thing is that everybody you around is a nigga with attitude yeah it's all NWA Brown, white, black, green, every summer bitch in the day room is a nigga with attitude. Yeah. Regardless of what color his ass he is. So, um, we were, you know, they trying to resolve the situation. So when they found out who it was, the Mexicans said they gonna kill him. So he catch out. Now he's not here anymore. So because he's not here anymore, dude still messed up about his watch. So, and just so happened. It was a real motherfucking uh, essay that I used to fuck with named Johnny Boy out of E. Dallas. So Johnny Boy tell us, hey man, bro, check this out. Y'all got to get that watch off. Yeah. Oh, this what it is. So everybody know when we do five, when we go to child and get to this wreck yard at uh, six o'clock, y'all know what it is. Everybody know what it is. So, it's like, you know, every the, 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 the Hispanic dudes, you know, they go to spread it all over the unit. You know, because in Pennsylvania, all the Mexicans stick together. They don't give a fuck about none of that shit. When it comes to fucking with some niggas or white folks or anything, they don't stick together. So, uh, the SAs done told on all the wings, they done, you know, translated, hey man, at, at, when we go to Rick at, 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 at noon, you hear me? It's over with, you hear me? Yeah. The whole unit, we shut this bitch down. So, everybody is in agreement. So, boom, that morning we went to breakfast. And, and, and then people fed us a breakfast that you know for a fact that they know what's going to happen. They gave us cinnamon rolls, peanut butter pancakes, oatmeal, raisins. They gave us a whole, all the fucking five slots were filled. They don't do that at breakfast time. Why you so, say they do? Like, what you mean? Because, like, on the weekend, on the weekend in prison, right. when I first got there, every... Saturday, you're going to get cinnamon rolls, scrambled eggs, peanut butter and jelly, mm -hmm. or you're going to get peanut butter and pancakes, cinnamon rolls, you know, oatmeal. They're going to they gonna feed you. Yeah. They're going to feed you. I remember I couldn't even eat a whole tray when I first got to prison. Yeah. Niggas just sit with me, just tell me, give me that. <laughs> Without a little motherfucker. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so when, when you know, we, we everybody know. Everybody know. You know, when you go out down the wreck yard, Ain't no telling what's gonna happen, who gonna walk back in that back door, and who gonna go out that back fence in that avalanche. Don't nobody know. Now this shit is shit that, that is not in general thinking. Only thing you saying is I hope it ain't me. Yeah. But somebody finna get hurt. So when we get out there on the wreck, y'all, boom, that bitch pop off. When that bitch pop off, boom. So like like the first roll, like the first roll. Before you like like the law or anything, no, you know, like the niggas, 
The niggas already know what's going down, so they over there breaking the weights. They they breaking the pull up bar off this motherfucker. They bend in the bench. They trying to be in the bench. You know the SA don't really work out in Pennsylvania. So niggas is is curl balls. They twisting them holes. They we trying to break this shit. Yeah. Trying to get some scrap with. Cause finna be a real scrap. So when that bitch kicked out, bro, it was a nigga that had the pull up bar. Man, say it was by like I want to say probably was like. 95 people on that wreck yard. 95 and all. And all. Yeah. And I, because you know, it's just some motherfuckers got good sense that be like, man, fuck you, homie. I ain't going out there and I got a choice. I got a choice. I, I ain't going out there, nigga. So it's a lot of niggas that did, did but it's, it's motherfuckers that just right. egos and all that right, right, stuff. Right, right, right. So, so I just want to ask this question. I don't want to get you off track. Mm -hmm. So for the people that didn't go out there, was they, were they punished? Nah, they wasn't punished because yeah. guess what? This ain't his squabble. This is a. Yeah. Penitentiary thief squad, but it's the worst motherfucker in the penitentiary. Gotcha. You okay. hear me? So, a penitentiary thief, you hear me? Like, it's the worst motherfucker in the prison. Niggas hate thieves. Especially in prison. I don't yeah. know why niggas hate thieves, though. Because now all of our funky head with thieves before we got to that bitch. But niggas hate thieves in prison. So, this wasn't them niggas squabble. So, the niggas, that, you know, so so the niggas got on the Houston, Dallas shit. Nigga, I hate that nigga from such a. You know, so when we out here on the wreck, y'all, this a full fledged. Riot. When I say a full fed riot, I'm talking about niggas getting their ass kicked, Mexicans getting their ass kicked, white boys getting their ass kicked. Yeah. You hear me? And it's going hard. It's going hard. And and like this is like probably like in within my first year. I ain't even been a year in prison a year because it's like it's, this like is in 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 the beginning. I won't say the beginning of '93 when I first got to uh, close custody. So. You and it's about a, 18, 19, somewhere. Right, now. I'm 19. And, yep. and, then, and it's really a penitentiary. So, man, we out here on this wreck yard and we squabbling, we squabbling. So, it done got so bad that it's so many people hurt. It's so many people hurt because you got to realize Ferguson has like 28 wings, two dorms. They got two dorms inside, two dorms outside. Right. So, it's 26 with all the alphabets, right? Remember? 26 without alphabets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one dawn, two dawn, three dawn, four dawn, five dawn. Okay, to trusty camp. So it's like at least 13 rec yards yeah. on this unit that is all going yeah. to ham at the same time. All the laws is running. All, it looks so crazy. Because guess what? And when they realize that the wind is too high and the gas is not going to set. The gas, you know, when they shoot the gas, boom, in the day room, it'll get to about like six feet and just sit, like a cloud. And a nigga ass be about to die. You ain't never, have you ever seen snot 100 feet long? Yeah, come here, nigga. No, yeah. Nigga, snot 100 feet long. All the way to the floor and then a pool of it. That gas is how the gas do you. And it burn your eyes. When I first got to the penitentiary, Joker told me to put a wet towel on my face. Guess what I burnt my face up. Put that wet towel on. You better put a dry towel on them old Joker if you're messing with that gas. But I learned a lot of things on at this time right here. Because you know the you know the the, the Negroes that was the leaders, you know, cause you had niggas on that brick yard that was alpha males that's gonna call the shots for everybody. Yeah. So them niggas right there. Them niggas was saying, well, y'all, you niggas that, you little niggas that ain't gonna hurt nothing, y'all ain't gonna stab nothing, pick that gas up, go grab that gas with the coat, with your, with your, with your, uh, with your shirt, and throw it back over the fence. Man, we throw so much gas over there, back to them people that they shot, because on Ferguson, the wreck yards are like straight like that. So, right. it's the building behind you, the building on the side of you, and then... The open area, the open area is going to be like five feet, ten feet back. The fence going to be there. So, man, we done threw so much gas. These people done shot so much gas that the, the man at the fence is screaming, there is no more gas. He started reaching his bag. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. So they, you know, like like the a single shot. Like if it was like a single shot shotgun. But, you know, these these rednecks, we fucking with some real rednecks that do this shit, been doing it since they were 12. This motherfucker shooting this motherfucker like a machine gun. He got it stuck through the fence. Yeah. He's shooting it. Boom! He's breaking it down with his thumb. Click. Dropping it. When he when he pop it down, you know, shell pop out. He yeah. coming right back out that bag off his hip. Boom! 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 He's shooting them motherfuckers so fast. And, 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 and you, this wreck yard is not, this is, it's about... 
four extra feet all the way around this basketball court. Yeah. So the only thing I need is a basketball court, a, a little pallet, a little uh, patio right here where it's a waste sit. Hey man, it's not that much room, and it's hard, and then we going hard in the bitch, and and I'm seeing niggas and Mexicans bleeding, and. And and I'm one of the motherfuckers, I was one of the motherfuckers that were real fast. So nigga, I just run, I just take off running and just hit me a motherfucker. Pow! Pow! I would never stand still, because if you stand still in a ride, that's how you got. Uh -huh. I never stand still, I just keep running. You're the first person I heard Boom. say Boom! I just keep running. Boom! Keep running. Boom! And I ain't gonna lie to you. Drilling, kicking in. Look, 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 now, what? Every, ain't no rules in this shit. Nigga, these niggas got knives, these niggas got locks and belts. Yeah. Man, them people, look, 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 the people took us out the back door and shook us down. Guess what? Nigga, them niggas took them lines, threw them right through the, through the, through the, through the, through the cage, out the window, because they break the window in the summertime. Uh -huh. So the window still broke for the window. Nigga, on the wreck yard, pulling the strain, getting the knives, getting everything they got to get. So they got their they, they, they strap. And it's five, six motherfuckers doing this here. So everybody on the wreck y'all damn near that this is strap, there's some shit going on out here. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I wanna say it was like I wanna say like seven or eight people got hurt bad, bad, but one person got killed. And I remember um Howard Smith was one of the niggas on the wreck yard, and it was a nigga named Twin out of E Dallas. E Dallas twin, shout out to him. Well, shout out the goddamn me twin and his niggas really beefing. Yeah. But they low on the low beefing because he probably two of the hardest niggas when it comes to just squabbling. He probably two of the hardest niggas. You hear me? On yeah. this close custody block. So, uh, this nigga Howard Smith, as I'm thinking, I'm looking, that's looking like he trying to get twin killed. Because I, I, you can't. Move the camera, but I, I want to demonstrate what these we we doing. You know they tell us lay on the ground. You know all the people screaming lay on the ground. The police lay on the ground, and they started shooting. But these son of a guns that ran out of gas, yeah. and they done had to go across the river to East Ham, East Ham Unit, East Ham Unit, yeah, to get more gas. So I guess they got tired of you know the niggas steady fighting and they steady saying stop. These jokers done brung the shotguns to the fence line. It's about four jokers with shotguns at the fence line. And they tell us, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. So everybody's saying, lay down, lay down, lay down. You know, so Howard Smith, them saying, lay down, lay down. So all the niggas went right together. We laid down. But the niggas on this Dallas Houston shit. So when the nigga, everybody lay down, the niggas say, fuck that shit, nigga. We finna smoke these hoes. Nigga on three, we gonna get up so everybody laying on the ground. You know, we laying on the ground. But this nigga Howard is saying, fuck that shit, nigga. We finna get these hoes on three. But he not already, you know, it seemed like, I don't, I can't say. You yeah. know, I'm just saying, from what it seemed like, it was, he was trying to get my nigga twin killed. Because, you know, we laying on the ground, everybody laying on the ground. Yeah. He said, and I'm saying, I gotta see everybody else get up before I get up. You know, I'm in the back. So I got to see everybody else get up before I get up. So, man, bro, me, Twin, P, we were about like six niggas that got up, but Twin stood up. Yeah. And then he looked around the scene, what it was, and he laid back down. And, you know, now the people got us under gunpoint. We ain't stood up no more. Ain't no more stood. That's over with. Then we done really whack these folks. These it's some niggas done hurt some folks out here. So niggas really trying to get out the wreck We done probably been out here like an hour and 40 minutes. But the ride probably was like an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it was a bad joke. Yeah. And it was a whole unit. So when it was all said and done, boom, when they go, you know, they go to strain your ass up with them zip ties. And then, you know, they get all the hurt people out the wreck yard. Get the injured motherfuckers that can't get off they self. Then they go to, you know, if you hurt, you gonna, they gonna say, if you hurt, you know, raise your hand, let them know you hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, so if he see you just got stabbed in the back or something, you ain't hurt, hurt. Okay, you stay out here and put them zip ties in your fucking head. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you, you still walking and talking and everything. You ain't going nowhere. Now, if you hurt, hurt, where you feel a position, yeah. something stuck in you, see yeah, you. They, they, they trying to get you. Yeah. But anyway, um, man. 
when that ride was over with, and I like, you know, I'm just looking. I'm, I'm young. These dudes have been here. I just got here. And, I, and I'm the type of nigga, if you ain't from Fort Worth, I really, if you ain't from Fort Worth and you ain't no crib and you ain't just 100% with me, I ain't fucking with you. Yeah. You know, it's penitentiary. I know it's penitentiary. Yeah. So, you know, that's my, that's my, you know, the less motherfuckers I fuck with, the less problems I'm going to have. So anyway, man, like I'm saying, I'm analyzing what's going on. And I said to myself, none of the niggas out of Houston jumped up. So Howard must have told them niggas not to get up. And boys say they shipped their unit in. That was when they bust that unit up. They shipped that cloak, cut they shipped that shit out. Cause you know, French Robinson had just opened up and, and you know, French Robinson was a bad mother. You know, they went to shipping, busting jokers everywhere trying to get them off that unit. Cause that unit, yeah, it had got tight. It had got tight, yeah. But I ain't gonna lie to you, that was, that, that was a bad motherfucking ride. Ferguson unit, Ferguson, 90s. Yeah, 93. Yeah. Bad. And the folks can give a damn. I ain't gonna lie, my partner, my partner Longhorn out of Austin. Shout out to Longhorn, wrote a, wrote a, wrote a song about me. He wrote a song? <laughs> yeah. My partner, I love that boy. What, 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 uh, what, about what, what that like? About, 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 about fighting the, and shit. About and about fighting. Just fighting and shit in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah, but he, I, what the fuck? Yeah. He was rapping that bitch up to me. See, yeah, that shit jam, it's jam. But I'm just like, oh, that's easy. Yeah. He was a bad nigga, man. Longhorn out of Austin, man. Long going that house. Yeah.